Namibia won the toss and decided to field first with the USA betting. The visitors did well with the bet as they put up a total of 288 runs for the loss of eight wickets. It was a good day at the office for the US as they restricted Namibia by 173 and ultimately won the match by 71 runs. USA were back at training today and the players were believed to be in good spirits after their win against the hosts yesterday. Before they hit the nets, the players had a kickabout to show off their football skills. The coach of the team says that yesterday's win came about as a result of solid all-round team performance. I think overall we played very well as a unit. There were not huge contributions except for maybe uh, Gajanon to got a 60 plus, but uh, very important contributions of 20s and 30s and a good partnership and win lose wickets too early. Even in bowling, they shed wickets, two wickets, piece and three three guys, and then uh, everyone who came into a spell got a wicket. So overall, I think it was perfect teamwork, and we we got off a decent total and restricted them. Today is a rest day for all the teams. USA will take on PNG tomorrow. We are going to give it our best. We are not going to think much about uh, their strengths. We need to focus on our strengths. And Namibia, uh, sorry, PNG has beaten us the last three encounters. And we have something to prove now. And we are going to take this seriously and play to, play to our best potential. Vice Captain of the US, Aaron James, and he shared his coach's sentiments, saying that it was a good start for the team and that the all-round performance helped them get over the line against Namibia. Definitely a good win yesterday. Um, it's always tough sometimes coming into obviously a country and playing against the home team. So really happy that we got the win against Namibia yesterday. Definitely a good team as well, so good to start the series well. I think we played well in all departments, batting, bowling and fielding. I think the key thing yesterday was um, just discipline in all departments and um, that's what helped us to come across the line. There is a lot at stake in terms of who will make it to the top of the standings and compete in the 50-over World Cup qualifier in 2023. Every win will be important for all three teams.